Now, the work of the artist William Tillier is on display at some of the most well-known galleries in the world, but in his hometown of Middlesbrough, he's virtually unknown. That may be about to change as a collection of his work goes on display. William Tillier has given his first television interview to our reporter, Sharuna Saga. His work speaks volumes, but he is the quiet man of the art world. William Tillier just likes to be left alone to paint at his studio in Stokesley, North Yorkshire, a few miles away from where he was born and bred in Middlesbrough. Well, for me, painting is very much a process of using the visual to explain ideas. I suppose the one element that uh, concerns me is the sort of interconnectivity of absolutely everything. I use landscape, cloudscape, uh, to try and express that. I sort of load the brush with paint and literally work from the backside, pushing the paint through it. Uh, so I'm hopping about quite a lot when I'm working behind the piece and then dashing around to see what happened. What it, it looks happened. like, basically. Yes, exactly, because I can't see what I'm doing. It's a bit like painting blindfold. Have you finished it yet? Well, almost. It's just on the cusp, as it were, of my saying, I'm not going to touch that anymore. A few weeks later, that piece is hung at Middlesbrough Institute of Modern Art, along with a selection of other works spanning his 50-year career. So, William, what do you think? Well, um, the image has always excited me. I've uh, always been a great fan of the River Tees and particularly High Force. At the moment, I, I'm, I'm just taking it in because this is, in fact, the first time that I've seen it at this scale. This is also the first time his work has been shown in his hometown. The retrospective coincides with him turning 75. We've been waiting for the right moment. Of course, 75 is a big anniversary, but there's something that just felt right about his work as well at this moment. You can't quite say what that was, but we really felt that he was doing something very, very special now. Making, he'd made great works over 50 years. He was still making great works today. The thing is, William Tillier is notoriously low-key, despite all the praise being heaped on him by artists, critics and collectors. One of the most intelligently original and entertaining painters of our time, Norbert Linton, author of The Story of Modern Art. The most inventive artist of his generation, John Yao, poet and critic. Many people think he's the finest painter in Britain. Many people may be right. He's called William Tillier. Brian Appleyard, The Sunday Times. And in case you were wondering, a version of this painting is owned by none other than David Bowie. We live in an age of people like Jeff Koons and Damien Hirst where it's very much about self-promotion. People I work with like David Hockney, Andy Warhol, Bob Rauschenberg, Henry Moore, they're so good at sort of looking after themselves that they made themselves into household names. He is very reclusive. He lives completely in this world of making art, whereas most of the artists I know, half of their work is self-promotion and half of it is being in their studio. He's in his studio, that's what he does. And if he's not in his studio, he's staring at clouds. For some artists, perhaps, the contrast of being a celebrity outside their studios really works for them. I go with my character and uh, I'm happy with that. Well, fascinating. The artist William Tillier speaking to our reporter Sharuna Saga. Unusual for him to be talking like.